Welcome to our lesson for today. We are focusing on systems technology and we will be looking at software, looking at practical uses of various applications. Now let's look at some uses of applications and we're going to look at these four examples. Now these are some of the basic applications that you'd normally get and use almost in all computers. Now the first one would be a word processor. Now it allows you to create, edit, format and work with a document. Now the second one is a spreadsheet program. Now spreadsheets allow you to do what? To do some budgeting, financial and business planning as well as analysis. The third one is your database. Now database allows us to collect, store, search, filter and report on data. The last one would be presentations. Now presentations would allow us to create slides to get your message across to an audience. Now those are some of the uses of the basic applications. Now let's look at software that enhance accessibility, efficiency, as well as productivity. Now the first software we're going to look at is voice recognition. Now voice recognition software allows speaking into a microphone that is connected to your computer in order to enter text into documents for accessibility. Another voice, um, sorry, another um, software is Typing Tutor. Now, the Typing Tutor can teach one keyboard skills in touch typing and how to become a proficient typist for productivity. The next software is Note Taking Software. Now, this software allows informal ways of note taking where one can use text, images, sketches, some uh, videos, etc. in a word processor. Right, then we're going to move on to some different types of software where we look at reference software and email software. Now, what are the uses of reference software? Now, an example of reference software would be your encyclopedias. Now, reference software is there for research as well as assignments. It helps us keep information up to date and it also gives quality documents with correct spelling and terms. Now, the uses of email, an example, you get your Gmail or your Google Mail. Now, the users are for personal and business communication, sending files as attachments, sharing of information, advertising, as well as sending newsletters. Then we're going to move on to document management software as well as web browsers. Now, what is document management software? For example, PDF file format. Now the users are to store and organize files, control your workflow, locate documents using metadata in the search option. And then the users of a web browser. One example would be your Internet Explorer. Now web browsers allows us to view websites use chat rooms and mail, make bookings or traveling arrangements, share data and communicate with other people, download software and do our personal online shopping as well as banking. And that's it for our lesson today. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.